welcome back for another wig review but before we jump into that I quickly wanted to show you this wig grip headband that I received from Clay Hair on Amazon um, this is a velvet non-slip uh, Swiss lace band it has the Swiss lace transparent opening there in the front uh, for your frontals and it has a uh, velcro adjustable closure at the back this thing is a lifesaver if you don't know about wig grips you need to get to know about wig grips and i'm about to tell you right now this thing will save your edges if you want a glueless install it's perfect for that and it just keeps your wigs from backsliding basically y'all it's 2020 we don't have time for backsliding like i'm over it i i don't have time for it okay so no backsliding on to the review <laughs> so this video is in collaboration with beauty forever they did send over this beautiful unit um, this is the care card they sent some lashes and this is the care card that I'm showing you here um, with all of their products that they offer um, great company I love the, the packaging and everything that they uh, include inside for you um, and uh, this is the wig so yeah I love the transparent lace in the front and this is the 13 by 4 body wave lace front wig it is a hundred percent Brazilian virgin human hair so this is our first human hair uh, collaboration you guys yay we're moving on up like the Jeffersons okay so <laughs> so this is pre-plugged the cap construction is standard with two combs in the front one in the back with the adjustable straps it does have baby hair and again I said it's pre-plugged but as you can see it does uh, need a lot more plucking. I'm just going to do the minimal today. So yeah, um, this is 150% density and it is 14 inches long. So here I'm just showing you different views of the parting space. Again, this is 13 by 4 uh, inches of, of parting space. And um, yeah, I'm just going to try to figure out where I want to put the parting. I did end up going with the side part. But yeah, um, as you can see, like I said, it does need a lot more plucking. Um, but yeah, uh, for the sake of the review, we're going to move on. I'm going to do a side part. And um, yeah, I'm just applying a little bit of wax. I didn't really have hair wax, so I actually ended up using some shea butter on the, uh, the hair to kind of lay it down because I'm going in with this uh, hot comb that I picked up uh, from the beauty supply store and uh, just going to lay down the edges and um, make everything nice and sleek um, for a great install. So here I'm just fitting the unit onto my head. Goodness, I didn't realize my forehead was so big. This thing makes my forehead look so big, but anyway, um, yeah, this cap is uh, very, very snug. So you know, when you when you're getting ready to install it, um, you probably want you're probably going to want to cut it in several places to kind of open it up a little bit so it can fit better onto your head. Um, it is definitely small head friendly, big head friendly. The adjustable straps will do you justice there, or you can just not even use the straps at all. But yeah, just cutting off the lace here. And then again, you'll see me go back and forth between my scissors and my razor. Um, I'm left-handed, you guys, so it's it's much harder for me to um, do one side than the other. So that's why you know you probably see me working more so on my left-hand side than the other side when it comes to the scissors and everything. But yeah, I'm just going go, gonna go ahead and lay down the wig. So this is. Uh, me applying my got to be glued free spray and just laying the edges in place and I'm just gonna hold those down um, until it until it dries I didn't have my uh, blow dryer and I didn't feel like getting up to go get it so that's why I just I just waited it out this time but yeah now I'm just gonna go in and plug that parting space a little bit just open it up a little bit more so that I can make it look um, you know make it look really nice and natural so here I'm going in with some concealer in the color Fawn. this is the LA Pro Girl concealer and I'm just laying the concealer down first so it can get a little bit uh, dry and um, 
before I set it with some powder. Um, meanwhile, I'm just going to go ahead and cut a little bit of baby hair. And uh, now I'm going back in to um, kind of buff that concealer into the lace. And then I'm going to go in with a, a brush that has a little bit of powder left on it so I can set it and uh, make it look pretty natural. And now I'm going to go ahead and form my baby hair. So I'm using some uh, foaming wrap lotion. Uh, this is my Lotta Body uh, foam wrap and I'm just going to lay my baby hair with that. I'm not doing too much you guys. I keep it simple because I feel like simplicity for me is key. So yeah, just applying some more foaming wrap to set the wave pattern in place and make everything pop. I love that sleek wet look, you guys know. So yeah, this is the final uh, look and um, yeah, it's just so, so gorgeous. It looks like water wave hair to me. Uh, the ends are kind of curly um, and uh, yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful. There's that frame space again, you guys. I think I did a pretty good job, but yeah, let me know what you think. I'm gonna turn around and show you the back now. So this is how it looks in the back. So, so beautiful and natural. And uh, yeah, I absolutely love it. So uh, thanks again to Beauty Forever Hair for sitting over this gorgeous unit. Um, I will have all the details linked in the description box below for you guys. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Stay beautiful. Love you. Bye.